Hi, my name's Stephen from Wagtail Urban Farm. We're here today uh, demonstrating the fertilizer that we make for the farm. We call it the Wagtail Cough. Cough stands for Complete Organic Fertilizer. It's made of all um, just waste resources. So the seed, the ground up seed meal from the canola oil manufacturer, um, the ground up feathers from um, the poultry industry and blood and bone, which is also a waste product. Um, the, the first two ingredients are a slow release fertilizer that the microbes in the soil have to break down and then the blood and bone obviously is a fast release um, and we find it works really well here at the garden for keeping all your leafy greens really healthy uh, in a staggered sort of progressive organic way. So what I'll do is I'll quickly demonstrate how I prepare a garden bed and then I'll show you how I apply this um, to make it uh, the most useful in, in the soil. So firstly, I want to just make sure there's no crop debris or um, weeds on the soil surface. So I'll just break, break them off. Just lightly, all the loose stuff. And then with a hoe, want to make sure that there's no uh, fine weeds that are just germinating or uh, any um, of the previous crop that might still be in the soil so I'll just run across that across the soil surface really lightly it's just really you want to get into that top sort of one to two centimeters of soil Uh, any sort of fork, um, I use a broad fork. Um, uh, this broad fork is 70 centimeters wide, which is the same width as my beds. Um, but you can use a garden fork, you just have to sort of double, double up. Um, but the important thing that a fork does is it helps to break any soil compaction. Soil compaction is a really bad thing for plants' roots and for um, nutrient cycling. Um, so just using a broad fork to you know, just lightly break that compaction up um, uh, is really beneficial again for nutrient and moisture to get down deep into the soil subsoil. So to use it, it's a very simple. Uh, you just push it in, tilt it back, not much, about 30 degrees, 40 degrees. You keep working backwards. It's much easier for your body if you sort of work backwards. I can actually feel where this soil has been worked before because it's quite soft. There's something under there is probably treasure, but I'll try and make my money by growing veggies. I do this every time I plant, just to keep the soil nice and soft and pliable. You know, farmers on a much larger sort of pasture would use a, a tractor to do this sort of thing. But of course, a tractor's tires also compact the soil. So, very hard here because it hasn't been done for a while.
Next, I spread the cloth. That's about 200 grams per square meter for this site, which is pretty much what it would be for most places in Adelaide, depending on what you saw and you think availability is. And I sprinkled, sprinkled really sort of thoroughly across the soil. On a very windy day, you have to be careful that it doesn't all blow away. Um, so we try and do it on a day when it's still, quite like today. Now I'll add the compost. And I'll add it fairly thickly now, mainly because we're coming into summer here. Um, and compost is a really good way of helping the soil to maintain its moisture content. Uh, in the winter time, I don't put as much compost. I just want to cover that cough over. And then using this tool, I'll incorporate it. Uh, you can find these um, in specialist, um, you know, sort of horticultural stores, or this one's called a potato rake. Um, the uh, the common name for it is a four-time cultivator or tiller, um, but you want to make sure it's sort of got a right angle head, not one of those ones that comes back because they kind of, they, they, they make you bend over more really, that's what it comes down to. And the action here, very simple, you want to maintain a good posture and you just want to sort of pull the top layers underground. And you're doing that in a constant sort of digging, pouring motion. Again, pulling yourself forward as you go. It's just a lot better on your body if you pull yourself along with the tool. Uh, I find it's easier to constantly be swapping sides so you're not using the same muscles all the time. And you can see that compost and, and fertilizer is being pulled down into the subsoil. It's a great aerobic exercise. It's blood pumping, upper body strength, core strength. You don't need to go to the gym. And then you find that the soil surface will be really uneven, which you don't want, especially in summertime, because when you start watering, the water can pool off. So then you want to with your rake just smooth that bed off again. It's quite dry at this time of the year. hand water, um, which is fine. The thing with hand watering is you have to make sure that you get moisture down, right down to the um, depth that the roots are going to go. Most veggies do their feeding at about 10 centimeters and up. So you've got to make sure the moisture is there. And then once you've got your bed prep,
wondering what this tool is. It's called a HOMI, H-O-M-H-I. Really handy in the garden. It's not just for transplanting, but for weeding as well. And that's it. And now we'll just water them in. One last tip that I'd like to offer for um, people is it's much better to plant in the evening or later in the day. It just means the plant suffers less transplant shock. Uh, if you can't do it, um, by all means plant whenever you can. But your plants are going to go through less shock if you plant in the evening. Um, you know, the sun goes down, the plants can recover, the water comes, and they respond well. So yeah, there you have it. How to use the Wagtail Fleet Organic Fertilizer. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you.